Welcome back to the microengineering course. Today we will learn that interaction between electrons and epin. Now in this topic, we will learn that the interaction between that electron and your electric field and a magnetic field. Now we consider that the motion of an electron in a field that field is the electric field. What happened to this uh, electron there? Or the same we learn when we move the electron in a magnetic field. So now we will talk about that motion of electron in the field of electric field as well as a, a magnetic field. So we should know that first the basic law of a charge or we can say that a Coulomb's law so in which what happened that force exerted on from one charge to the another charge and that is directly proportional to the charge that is Q1, Q2 these are the two charges by a constant term 4 pi epsilon 0 inversely proportional to the constant term and inversely proportional to the distance between these two charges. Now this one is nothing but a Coulomb's law. It said that so there is a force exists between these two charges whether that charges are like charges or we can say that okay unlike charges if it is a like charges there will be a force of repulsion so that force is nothing but a q1 by q, q1 into q2 by 4 pi epsilon 0 r4 so depending upon that charge whether that charge is a like charges or unlike charges so according to that we can write a sign for this given particular charge so you can say that the force is in terms of the charges there now Q is a charge in a Coulomb's, then a R is nothing but a distance that is between these two charges and we will get that a force F and this F small 0 is nothing but a permittivity in a free space and that becomes a 8.854 into 10 is power minus 12 that is about a, a permittivity. Now we know that that force, if we write the equation or we write this uh, unit for all these components in the equation that F or the unit for this force is nothing but what? A Newton. F is nothing but in terms of a, a Newton. That we can write. Now we know the equation of electric field intensity. That electric field intensity produced by these charges and that is depending upon that what will be the force here. So we can write that the electric field intensity all are to be considered as a vector then so in that case there will be a unit vector here. Suppose a force is a vector here that we have written. So in that case we have the unit vector AR here. Okay, so that is about. So now in the case of suppose to be electric field is a vector now so we can write, write the electric field intensity E is equal to what? Whatever the force and that is restricted to this. It is charge or a charge at a rest state. So that is about your electric field intensity that is defined by the force per a unit charge. Okay, force per a unit charge. So we can write the equation here in terms of a, a charge that we can say that 4 pi epsilon 0 and here we consider that a charge because we are measuring that electric field intensity from the given charge at some particular distance so that's why a r square here so that's why electric field intensity at that particular point is nothing but a r square here. okay that is a r square distance so if there are the n number of a charges suppose i say that so there are the 
n number of recharges instead of a single charge. So we can write the equation of electric field intensity that is E is equal to. Okay, so we can write here the unit vector. Okay. So E is equal to what? A sum of m is equal to 1 to n. Okay. Into that is about a q m by 4 pi s naught 0 r square. That is about a m. Into what? Whatever the unit vector we have. So that is about the electric field intensity. If there are the n number of a charges, then the electric field is nothing but what? A summation of summation of m into m is from 1 to n. There are the n number of a, a charges. So that is the equation of the electric field. Now we can talk about that a electron, we can say that electron is moving from one place to the another place. So in that case, there will be a work done. Or we can say that when the electron is in a motion, so what will be the force exerted on that particular electron? So in that case, we write that equation of a force when the electron is in motion. Okay, we can say that. So we need to determine the path of an electron in a field, in an electric field. So in that case, what will be the force there? So force F is nothing but what? Whatever the charge that we can say. There is a Q here and E here. Okay, F is equal to what? Q into E. So all these are nothing but a vector component. Now we just use okay in a scalar one instead of a vector, so that will be easiest for us to write the equation. Okay, so we'll try later for the vectorial control. Now F is equal to Q E. So in that case, that is about your charge. Okay, this is nothing but your charge Q. And now from this Q is a charge, but here we consider that a force is there and that force is opposite in a direction to the field. So in that case, if that electron, because we can say that that charge is nothing but a negative charge because electron has a negative charge there. So in that case, if force becomes what? Minus A. That is E is nothing but whatever we can say that is a charge of the electron that is a negative now. So that's why minus E. So you can write here E into A here. Instead of a Q that is a charge, you can write in terms of a charge of the electron that is a negative charge. In that case, E F is equal to what? Minus E into E. Here. Now, this is about the equation in terms of a charge. Again, we can say that there is a electron motion. Okay, so we can write a term of a electron in terms of what a acceleration because electrons are moving from one place to another place. In that case, we can write the equation of a force in terms of a acceleration there. So force that can be related to the acceleration. So it has a mass there. Electron has some particular mass, so we can write F is equal to M into A. So in that case, we write A is nothing but A acceleration. We can write acceleration in terms of a change of velocity. So we can write A acceleration in terms of a velocity. A is equal to what? Change of velocity with respect to time. So this velocity is nothing but what? A velocity of electron. This is a velocity of electrons in a meter. And this one is the A, is the acceleration of electron in a meter per second. Simply we say that we can write A is equal to what? That is a dV by dt. Okay, A is equal to what? A dV by dt. So F is in terms of what? A charge here. F is in terms of a mass of a electrons and the acceleration of the electron there. So we can write the equation of a force in terms of a electron charge as well as we can write in terms of a mass and all that. So we can say that if we equate these two equations, this one and this one, okay, 
so we will get this term okay so now we will equate this term so in that case we can say that this equation becomes what e into e here this one e a here minus e is equal to m dv by dt okay or we can say that we can write that e is equal to what m by v into dv by dt okay so this one is about the origin now this dv by dt is nothing but what v is what a velocity of electron okay v is nothing but a, a velocity of electron so we can write this velocity of electron with respect to the displacement okay with respect to the displacement so in that case we can write that d square even if it is in the x direction or y direction or z direction so in that case we can write d square x by dt d square y by dt okay so likewise so it is with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z here okay that is about the because that velocity of electron in which direction we, we supposed to be consider supposed to be we say that we can write that velocity in terms of rectangular coordinate so that v is changes with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z so in that case v is equal to what x d this of v v is equal to what dx by dt v is equal to what dy by dt likewise so in that case we will write this particular term is nothing but what a d square x by dt square d square y by dt square d square z by dt square so likewise so we can write the equation that is in the terms of a, a cartesian coordinate because we say here electron is moving in an electric field and electron experiences a force okay that is nothing but what e into e here that e is nothing but a, a charge of the electron into e here okay why this is a negative because there is a negative charge of a electron here. okay it opposes okay we, we can say that it opposes that particular force so that is about the equation so we can write the equation this equation here in terms of a voltage amp so now velocity sorry okay so now we consider here again we'll be back here so we can say that that equation can be what if we can write in terms of a cartesian coordinate then it becomes what a d square x by dt square is equal to what minus e by m dx then d square y by dt square is equal to minus e by m e y because electric field intensity it has x component of x component of y component so that's why x y and z so e x e y then d square z by dt square d square z by dt square is equal to what minus by m that is about the easy way. so this one we have written in terms of a cartesian curve now this e by m this e by m is nothing but what the ratio of charge to mass of the electron okay that is about a charge to the mass of the electron and this ex ey ez these are the component of electric field ex ey and ez likewise so that is about the equation so similarly we can write the equation in terms of a cylindrical coordinate we can write into a in terms of a spherical coordinate okay so just we have seen that a coordinate system with respect to the rectangular coordinate system okay so we will not go in a deep for the cylindrical and spherical but we can write in the both the way there okay so we can write equations in the both the coordinate system now earlier we say that we have the equations that is about we say that electric field intensity that is about e 
into E here, this one, is equal to what? M dV by T. Okay. That V is nothing but what? A velocity. V is nothing but what? Velocity of a electron. Okay. V is nothing but what? Velocity of a electron. So now we can write in this way. Now, that M is nothing but a mass and E is nothing but a charge here. So, in that case, we can again rewrite the equation that if that electron is moving from point A to point B, what happens? Okay. So from location A, that electron is moving from location A to B. That is about the motion or movement of that electron there. When electron is moving from point A to point B, so in that case, what happens? There will be a work done by the field, okay, work done by the field in carrying a charge from point A to the point B there. So in that case, we rewrite this equation, this equation here, in the form of what? Elect motion, okay. We can rewrite the equation. In the form of what? What will be the displacement? Okay, what will be the displacement? So we can say that E, that is about the field, okay, that is about the moving field with respect to the distance. In that case, we can say that moving from A to B here, in that case, this is about your electric field intensity. So I will write here in terms of vector quantity now. And there will be a change in the that particular distance that is a to b okay field is moving from a to b is equal to that is a mass you can write here mass this one same here mass and this is about a charge by e okay mass and charge but here that electron is moving from a to b there is a work done so in that case we can write that Motion of electron work done means what? That move, moving a positive charge from A to B. And that is nothing but what? This factor is nothing but what? A potential. Potential at a point B because work done, because of that, there is a potential at point B. Okay, here suppose potential at point B with respect to point A. Because charge is moving from A to B, so that's why there will be a potential. Okay, so that is that we can write in terms of what B into C. Okay, so this is about our equation. So we can write here in terms of moving from A to B. Okay, so moving from A to B. So that's why we can say that electron is moving from point A to point B. Okay, this is about a equation. So, in this particular case, so this is nothing but this particular factor. Okay, this particular factor is nothing but the A potential. This particular factor is nothing but the A potential. And this is nothing but a moving. Electron is moving from A to B. That is about the, with respect to that particular velocity. Okay, that is about the velocity of electron from point A to the point. So with respect to velocity, we can write here VA and VB again. Okay, so that is sufficient now. So we can write. So this is about the potential equation here. So this becomes a V. So in that case, we can write V is equal to what? This whole term with is equal to what? M into E. That is about the A to B. B. Now, if supposed to be this term we are writing in the form of, okay, if we are writing this term, okay, integrating this one, so it will give what we are getting that is about a v square. We are integrating this one, we are getting v square by 2. So, we will write that 1 by 2 v square, that is the a and so now then that potential at 
b and potential at okay so sorry velocity so we can rewrite the equations that is e into b is equal to m by 2 here into v b square minus b s Now this is about what we can say. This term is called as a electron hole. Okay, electron hole. So if supposed to be there is a one unit work done. Okay, if that charge is about a unit charge. So in that case, that work done is nothing but what one electron hole. Okay, if unit of work done or only one elect ev means nothing but what a electron hole that is about a we can say that is about a work done by this electron there so that is nothing but a a one electron hole now this one electron hole means what if there is a electron move from this particular region from point a to point b okay and it has a potential of a one electron hole okay it has the potential of a one hole and then in that case its kinetic energy is nothing but what one ev okay that is one ev so one ev if supposed to be i am saying that one ev is the kinetic energy in that case so e is nothing but what we can say it is about a charge in the coulomb that is about a 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So I'll rewrite here. Ev is equal to Ev is equal to what? 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb into 1 volt. Okay, 1 volt into a 1 volt. So in that case. It becomes what 1.6 to 10 to the power minus 90 U. That is about your EV. Okay, so this one is about the EV. Now we earlier say that E capital V is equal to what 1 by 2. M V B square minus B S. Okay, now this one. Okay, now that electron we say that we say that it is moving from A to B. This equation says that it is moving from A to B. Now, if supposed to be electron motion start from the rest instead of the A, we say that it is start from the rest to the point B. Okay, to that particular existing point B. In that case, there will be only the VB. So, if we remove that particular point, the electron is, if an electron start from the rays, so in that case, it accelerates, that is, through a given potential rise at a V here. So, in that case, we can write, rewrite this particular equation, E to V here is equal to 1 by 2 m v square. Okay. Now then, this is about the velocity of the electron. It starts from that rate. So that becomes v is equal to what? 2 into e to cap t. v here to a small m. Okay. Rest to 1 by 2. And if you write what is the value of this, it is nothing but what 0.593 into 10 to the power 6 under the top it. Okay, now this is nothing but what this capital V is nothing but a potential we are applying. Okay, that much is the potential we are applying. Or we can say that it is a hold. Okay, so DC. 
and we are getting this velocity means we can say that if we have a, a cathode ray tube and if we are applying the voltage beam b capital b then electrons are moving from this it has a velocity v is equal to like that according to how much is the velocity dc beam okay voltage we apply so according to that velocity of that electron will be changes here. okay so means cathode ray tube means what it is at a rest and it your electrons are moving from this tube they are accelerating okay so that's so that's why we can say that it that electrons are moving from that tube it has the velocity is nothing but 2 into ev by m and that is nothing but what a 0.593 to 10 to the power 6 b it is that velocity is depending upon that how much is the potential apply means what is the voltage we apply to the that tube okay so that's why we are getting the velocity of that particular electron okay dc electron beam okay likewise we can see that dc electron beam how that electrons are accelerated so this way we can write them. Then earlier we talk about a potential. We say that a small incremental distance. That is, we can say that is about a small incremental distance. That is about a dl in the direction of the electric field. That is about we can say e here. Okay small incremental distance in the direction of that electric field E here. So what happened to the potential over that particular distance? So in that case earlier we say that is about the minus E into DL sorry minus E into DL is equal to what? That is about the potential we say. Okay. So similarly we forget about this particular whatever the charge right now so we talk about that small variation in the distance okay small variation in the length okay that is about a small incremental distance EL in the direction of an electric field E the change in the potential in that particular small incremental distance EL that can be expressed in terms of what a dB Okay, so we just y minus just use the determinant here to write that dv is equal to dl. Okay, so likewise we can we have used the term. Or in the terms of a vector notation, we can write that e is equal to what minus del. That is about a, a gradient, and this one del is nothing but what a del operator, and this minus sign. Okay, that we can say that the field is directed from the region of higher potential to the region of the lower potential. Okay, this is about the minus sign. Okay. So that is about generally we say that a charge there, so around that there will be a field. Okay, we supposed to be consider that a point charge here. That field is gradually changes that's why the potential is gradually decreases there. Okay, so that's why we can say that from the higher potential to the lower potential. Okay, so that is about the what we say. So E is equal to what minus del V that is about a gradient. Okay, gradient potential. Okay, so this is about a E is equal to nothing but a minus del V term. And gradient why why we can say that? Because it is move, moving from the higher potential to the lower potential. That is about the motion of or electron motion in an electric field. Electron motion in an electric field. Now we talk about that electron motion in a, a magnetic field. Okay, we'll talk about that. Electron motion in a magnetic field. 
now that just consider that there is a charged particle or we can say that electrons are there that their electrons are in motion in an magnetic field generally we say that we use a magnetic flux density okay we use a magnetic flux density b to define that there is a magnetic field okay so that is about the vector field. we say that a electron is in motion in a magnetic field so in that case what happens the electron has some particular charge when that charged particle is in motion in a magnetic field then that charge will experience a force okay that charge will experience a force that we can write f is equal to or that charge experience force that will be directly proportional to the whatever the charge what will be the magnetic flux density okay what will be the magnetic flux density and what will be the velocity of that particular motion of the electron so we can say that q that is about the charge velocity because velocity is a motion and it has some particular direction so that's why that velocity is direction there and we have the field it is nothing but a magnetic field that is about a b here or we can say that f is equal to what b into b b into b is nothing but a sign of angle between that electron velocity and this field there okay so this one is about a force of force exerted on this particular electron and this b cross b is nothing but one particular plane and in that particular plane we say that a force exerted on this uh this particular plane that will be perpendicular to this particular plane force exerted suppose i am saying that this is about a plane here so this one is about the force exertion that is about a perpendicular to this particular plane okay so we can say that here f is equal to q into b here force on this particular charge in a magnetic field b and that electron is in motion it has a velocity v okay so that's why we can write equation in terms of q we can write in terms of electron and electron has a negative charge so that's why minus e v cos okay b cross b so we can write right then so v cross b here we can write velocity and a magnetic flux density in terms of a cartesian coordinates cylindrical coordinates or spherical coordinates similarly we will get the equation of a force in terms of this is again vector here okay we are writing so we can we will get the equation in terms of a cartesian coordinates or we can will get the equation in terms of a spherical coordinates or a cylindrical coordinate so we can will write the equation in that way here now take a example suppose we consider that the electron is moving with a velocity okay with some velocity constant in x direction okay so for example i am saying here that electron is there it is moving with a velocity we can say that a vx okay electron is moving with the velocity that is about the vx and this is about the x direction and this is about the y in the terms of a, a cartesian now we consider that electron moving with a velocity v here when it will be entered in a magnetic field now this is about we can suppose to be consider that there is a magnetic field okay this one is about a magnetic field present 
that we can write here the b now okay so this one is about a magnetic when electron is moving in this particular field so what will happen when it will interact in that particular magnetic field so what happen that they will change the electron will move in a circular path when electron will interact in a magnetic field they will change their velocity or direction and that electron will move in a circular path then we say that it is moving in a circular path so in that case that circular path has some particular radius r we suppose we say that it has some particular radius that's about the r and that velocity of the electron that will be a constant this one is about a, a constant velocity that is a vx we can say that it has a constant velocity that is about the vx because electron is moving in this circular path when they will interact in the magnetic field now if supposed to we can consider that force exerted on the electron by the magnetic field at that is at every instant okay at every instant that will remains constant okay force exerted on this electron that will be remains constant but if supposed to be that electron is not interacted in the magnetic field so then there will no there won't be any force exerted on the electron so in that case there will be a no work done in that case velocity will be a constant okay velocity will be a constant so now what we can say that the magnetic force when electron just enters in a magnetic field so that becomes what f is equal to what we can say that minus e to v cross t okay so this one we can consider right now so in that case suppose v is nothing but in x direction and b we supposed to be consider that in a z direction you can write that b here suppose it is nothing but what bz okay unit vector is now okay and v is in the x direction so in that case we will be what we again we can write that is velocity we can write v is equal to what vx okay it is not but vx okay so we can consider that ax is equal to so we will write that f is equal to what e then your velocity so yeah be there and in that case that force is having the unit vector that is a a1 because will electron moving in x direction magnetic field in a z direction okay magnetic field in z direction so x and z that is the xz plane so in that case the force will be perpendicular to that xz plane so that's why f is equal to what ev into b okay so that we can write now consider that that force is a constant that magnetic field is a constant okay but what happen here that electron motion is changes okay electron motion is changes because of this a magnetic field because of that a magnetic field electron motion now what happen that electron experience a force by the magnetic field because of that they are moving in a circular path so elect so what happen here so electron will looks like it pulls that that electron just looks like a pull by this magnetic field okay electrons are pulled by this magnetic field so that's why they experience a force 
and so that's why that electrons are moving in a, a circular path. Okay, so now consider that so this is about a curve. Now it is a curve now. So there will be a force. There will be a force. So so that force is called as a centrifugal force that will be pulled out. Okay, and the force towards. Okay, that force will keep that electrons toward this radius there. Okay, they will attract toward the center or they will move away. Okay, from this. So this force is called a centrifugal force, and this force is called as a centripetal force. So electrons experience a force that will that will be pulled by this. That is pulling force. Electrons are pulled by this magnetic field. So that's why that force is nothing but what it experiences. Just like what we can say that somewhere we supposed to be use that a rope, and if you hang some particular force, okay, pendulum here, and it will moving, okay, it is moving. So that force is a constant one. But this is because of this motion. So that it looks like that some force is pulling away. Okay, so likewise, it is just like a pulling or pushing. Likewise, so that or we can consider that when we are moving, when we are using a vehicle, and if supposed to be there is a sharp turn will come. So what will happen here? So we experience a force. So someone is pulled from this particular. Okay, particular road here. Okay, that is called as a centrifugal force. If we exert the same force, that is centripetal force, as equal to the centrifugal force, then our vehicle will be moving constantly in that particular turn there. Okay, so likewise, so there will be a centrifugal force and a centrifugal force that will be a constant there. So that centrifugal force experience here. that can be we can write here is equal to what that force will be what a mv square mv square by r that is a pulling force or a centrifugal force is equal to what e v and c that is about evp here here we have written evp that is nothing but evp so this is about a centrifugal force or a pulling force that is mv square by r the r is nothing but it is radius of that electron moving in that particular path and v is nothing but what that is about the velocity of the electron so then we can write the radius of the path r is equal to what m v by b R is equal to what? M V by E B. Okay, this E B here. And since that motion of that electron is in a circular motion, so that's why they experience a frequency. That frequency is called as a cyclotron angular frequency. And that cyclotron angular frequency is nothing but what we can write here. That is cyclotron angular frequency. That is nothing but what omega v by r is equal to e v by m. That is a radian per second. That is about a a cyclotron. And then electrons moving in a circular path, they will complete one revolution. So in that case, the period of that particular one revolution. Is equal to t is equal to what? A twice pi by this cyclotron angular frequency omega is equal to what? A twice pi m by e b. That is about the electron motion in a a magnetic. This one is called the electron motion in a a magnetic. now this is about the electron motion in a magnetic field now we talk about that complete that electron motion in a electric field as well as the magnetic field 
or you can say that electron motion in a electromagnetic way. You can say that electron motion in a electromagnetic way. So already we know that force experience is in terms of what a field we can say that if that electromagnetic field means what there will be electric field and there will be a magnetic field and our electron is moving okay that electron is moving now here we supposed to be consider that these are the two field electric field now if supposed to be these two fields are in the same direction or in the opposite direction and then electron interacts when this field is same. So in that case, what happened? So electron moving, electron will move in that particular, in that electromagnetic field if this, both the field are in the same direction. So magnetic field will not exert any force on the electron. But if that electric field and a magnetic field are opposite in a direction, an electron is moving, so in that case, the magnetic field exert a force on the electron. Okay, if the both the field are in the same direction, that is called as a linear tube, and if the both the fields are opposite direction, so in that that field is called as a cross field tubes. Okay, in a linear tubes, so electrons are moving, so they are not exerting any force on the electron. Okay, and in the linear tubes, so the magnetic field is used to focus the electron in moving in the same direction. But in the case of a cross field tube, that magnetic field.